I'll spend a few minutes and talk about a set of relationships which are typically referred to as overshoot and collapse. And in a moment, you'll see why it's referred to in that manner. The, the set of relationships typically is centered around some resource which continues to, to grow and develop in an in a exponential fashion. Um, the way population grows or the way the fish, fish population grows. Uh, and left unto its own devices, it will grow until it continues, until it consumes whatever resource it needs to survive on. Though in this particular instance, what we're looking at is this particular resource is utilized by some other community, humans perhaps, consider the extent to which humans consume fish because we like them, or many of us do anyway, so that this resource community is also experiencing an exponential growth. It's a population growth. And as the community grows, it uses more of the resource, which diminishes the amount of resources there. And if the rate at which this community is using the resource exceeds the capacity with which it renews, the, this growth renewal tends to collapse. Now, the best way to see this it's just not visible in a static diagram, is to look at a, a simulation model. Now, this is a simulation developed in Insight Maker, which you can access on the focus page for this perspective and interact with it to get a better sense of how it works. The resource itself is, is an exponential growing resource, though it is consumed, and the users is also an exponential growing entity which has which diminishes based upon the resources it needs to survive now if we run this initially with just a, a basic setup so that we're the resource users are not actually growing the and the a small amount of growth factor for the the resource to continue to grow, you'll see the exponential growth of that resource over time. And if we begin to allow the resource users to grow at some small rate, you notice that they are actually increasing. The, the resource that they utilize is still continuing to, to grow at an exponential rate. Though once the um, growth of the resource users reaches a particular point, you notice that the resource grows and then it diminishes and it simply collapses because the resource users have grown to such an extent that they're actually consuming the, the resource faster than it can renew itself. And notice what's happening is that because the resource users are dependent upon that resource, once they exceed the growing the carrying capacity and and essentially destroy the resource, the community itself begins to decline. This becomes more pronounced if the growth of the resource users is even faster so that it consumes, in other words, it starts out with the resource users being small, but it's an exponential growth. So it consumes the resource to a point where it can't renew it declines and ends up being destroyed and doesn't doesn't recover at all. And then the population of resource users, which are dependent upon that resource, begins to decline and perish. So that, that the resource users are responsible for their own demise because they've consumed all of the resource that they're dependent upon for their survival. And you can interact with this and um, vary these variables so that if you wanted to, to sense what happens with a non-renewable resource so that you start out with a certain quantity of the resource and it doesn't renew at all uh, to simply set this growth at zero so it doesn't grow and run the simulation you notice that it just starts and declines to zero 
rather quickly. So um, the whole idea is that if there's a, a growing population that utilizes a resource, that population needs to be very aware of the rate at which it consumes resources it's dependent upon and the renewal rate of those resources. The atmosphere of the Earth has a renewal rate of some, and so that the extent to which we pollute it on an ongoing basis, it recovers because we haven't yet exceeded the capacity of the atmosphere to renew itself, though we could get to a point where we pollute it faster than it could renew itself, which would then very quickly result in our demise, so that we probably should be conscious of that in the future. So uh, thanks to Edith Thompson for submitting this perspective, and we'll see you in another perspective soon. Bye.